God, if you can hear me, please strike me dead. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker. Living out here, away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete. Living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat. And now, you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. If any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. Yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy. It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby. Yeah! Oh, this better be <laughs> fucking good. Oh. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck. Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. Make it a fast boat. Ah, uh, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes. This is a high-value courier service run by <laughs> Merriweather. Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike. This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel trade. Gold. Sometimes gold. Sometimes artwork. Priceless antiquities. Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. And here she is, the magical train. Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay, I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back at the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what... Back in the trailer, where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. getting changed? What if what have you turned into? Stop that train! There's a new conductor on this train. You on the water? Sure, just caught a fish. Let me know when you need me. Cut it, eat it, be under that fucking bridge. When we go past Polito Station, whole of Merriweather's gonna be on to us. I 
ain't far out. You under the bridge. Approaching the inlet now. I'm powering through to the bridge. I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Get your ass in there, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. Merryweather fleet's here, bro! Oh. It can't be this hard to find treasure in the magical train. and find something. They got shooters on the track. Hey, your rifle's got a thermal scope, right? Use it and find those shooters before they find me. Woo! I got one of the bastards. Snipers are down, so don't let that keep you. Now the parachute regiment turns up. the rapids, if you please. <laughs> they got some boats after us. Nature, you're right. It's a beautiful thing. There's nothing natural about this. Nada. You change clothes. You couldn't have done this without that weird vest thing. You feeling alive? Juice pumping through your glands. My glands are just fine. Without the crashing trains, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. Chopper, ah. right behind us. Come on. We need to get on land. Pull her up down the coast. Senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Transport's taken care of. Ron's dependable, you see. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. 
Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. All right. Perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is my job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job. Fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get your own. Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, a big one. I know it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again, with Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep. Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady, and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. Hello, Tally's on the line too. Hey, Trev. All right, I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff, get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger's already on the way. The window's open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud.
cab pronto. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Wonderful. Just a robbery! Looks like our friend. Maud won't be happy, but uh, <laughs> I feel pretty good about it.
yourself to blame. Buster better play it right with that idol. Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me.
lost. Can you give me a ride home, please? Sure thing. I love hitchhikers. Finally, a nice man. Thank you. I live out at Catfish View, Mount Gordo, by the lighthouse. It's very isolated. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell. And I don't really have anyone to call. Not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me. But how I loved her. I have her hair in my backpack. Okay. What? The days get long out at that house all alone. I don't get many visitors anymore. Gardner used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. Oh, well, you know how they like to talk. But now, it's just me. Living on soup. Soup I make from old soup. Soup after soup after Ooh. soup. I have to get out of there sometimes and clear my head. Those damn birds always singing no matter how many times I poison them. Bird soup. Soup with bird, birds with soup. Every night I think I found peace, but then morning comes and with it another fresh hell. I come up here to escape them and they're still singing, taunting me. No, the house hasn't been the same since Mama passed. Most days I just work on my project so I can be rich and have all the gentleman callers I want, like a real lady sipping on tea on a porch, you know? I love working with rubber, burning it, tasting it. You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Hello? Clothy cloth ears, are you listening? You've got shoes, you've got feet, am I right? Uh, I'm not gonna say you're wrong. But what about shoes that look like feet? Uh, you mean toe shoes? Yes, shoes that look like feet, that's what I just said. Shoes that look like feet. Shoes that look like feet. Feet that have shoes on them that are feet. Because, you know, you can buy those already. No, you can't, Mr. Silly Pants. How can you buy them already if I haven't made them already? Dummy, dummy, dum-dums. I like you. You're silly. The gardener was silly. He got sick. Folk talk. You sure you're okay? Are you okay? Because this guy who picked me up the other week wasn't okay. He choked to death on his own hand. Yeah, okay, it's official. You're crazy. Crazy Maisie sitting on a daisy. Well, what are you gonna do? Spank me? Shave me? Lock me in the cellar with a spider called Molly Foster? Dress me up as a boy and make me drink through a little pink straw? Because you can. Mama oftentimes would. Don't pick your scars. Stop eating soil. Where's your pony, little girl? I'm Johnny now. The pony's dead. I hate you. I love you. Will you be my daddy? And this is why you don't pick up hitchhikers. Okay, I'm fine. Focus on the sunshine. Go to the garden. Pick them pretty flowers. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing. I get so anxious ever since Mama took Blanky away and burned him. You seem like such a nice man. Have you ever drunk a mint julep? Why do I always go and ruin everything? Just like I did with that litter of puppies. I'll just be quiet. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. This is it, thank you. Here's my number. Will you call me sometime? I get so lonely out here all by myself. I love you.